Okay, another fun patriotic style home decor DIY that you can do. I'm going to be using scrap wood that I have. Um, and this is a good reason to always save your scrap pieces of wood. I'm going to take and I'm going to even these out so that they have that nice little staggered look. And then this is how they came out. So I picked those three pieces. You want to make sure they can stand up nice because this is a standing piece of decor. You can sand off your ends just to make sure everything is nice and smooth and easy. Even. So this is a real easy, simple project. And then I also did one in Jenga blocks too. So if you don't have scrap wood, you can do these in the Jenga box, the Dollar Tree. So I have these napkins. They have bandanas, all kind of different prints at Dollar Tree. And so I'm just going to take and do some Mod Podge on the largest one. So instead of painting it white, because you know, red, white, and blue, I'm going to cover it with the napkin from the Dollar Tree because I just think it's a cute little print. So I'm covering it in a good layer of the Mod Podge. And you can see the napkin worked out to be the exact length of this scrap piece of wood which was really perfect so I'm just covering it around on all sides getting a nice good coat on there and then once I was done with that I'm just going to lay the napkin out and just wrap it around so this is real easy real simple you can cover yours and Mod Podge in parts if you're more comfortable doing it that way but um, I don't need it to be too perfect, so I just covered everything at one time. And then I'm just like, you know, smoothing it out just a little bit around all of the pieces. And then I noticed there was a little overlay, so I was like, okay, great, because now I can cover the bottom, doesn't really matter, but the top, so that it doesn't just have that um, wood look there, because I was going to end up painting that white to cover it up. So now I don't have to, because the napkin fold it over. I cut off the excess. You can do this beforehand. You can like measure it out and cut it off. But um, I cut off the excess and then I'm just going to smooth that out and give that a coat of the Mod Podge too, just to make sure everything is nice and covered. Everything is sticking down nice and good on the top, the bottom, around all the sides. And then I'm just going to put that on something elevated to dry because you don't want to dry it on the paper because then it'll, the glue dry to the paper and that won't be good at all <laughs> while that is drying i'm just going to take and paint the other pieces so i'm going to paint the middle size one red and i'm just using this paint right here um i'm going to cover again all sides of this i'm not worried about the bottom because the bottom is going to be the bottom it's going to be standing up but i'm just going to do one coat so i'm going to do one coat around all the sides and then on the top because it's going to be like table decor so you will be able to see the top and then i did the blue i covered it again just like i did the other one just one coat and i did around all the sides and the top and then left that to dry and then once it's dry you can go on to the next step um you can decorate this in so many different ways I am was debating on how I was going to do it. I know I like my looks to be distressed, so I gave it a little sanding around the um, corners there just to give it that distressed look. Um, I have these three stars so you can get the pack. I did the same thing on the Jingle Blocks. You can get the pack of the wood stars at the Dollar Tree, painted one white, one blue, one red. And I was debating on how I was going to put these on. When they laid on the Jingle Blocks, they were like the perfect size to lay on the front. And... Um, I had a white one so it was just a different look but I wasn't liking how it was looking there I was debating on if I would put them on top it was just um but you can decorate these anyway but um I decided to just go ahead and do the rope part for the firecracker because these are like firecracker decor so I just take the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree and I untwisted it it comes in three strands um and then I untwisted those strands and then I decided to attach the stars to the top right in front of the rope so I did that for all three I glued it down make sure it was in a position that it was nice and standing straight up and then I glued the star to the rope and to the base of the um, wood block so that everything was secure and, and nice in place if you wanted to you could drill a little tiny hole and dig those little feet in there but this is going to be inside so it's fine just like that and then once that dried i'm going to tie these together i was going to go with the nautical rope but it was too thick because these pieces are kind of narrow 
and I didn't want the rope to overpower it. So I just went with some twine from the Dollar Tree and this is how it came out. Make sure to follow That So Trendy DIY on YouTube, on Facebook and all other social media platforms.